Hi, I'm Billy I. I'm the Alpine Program Director here at the Calvin Ski Club, and I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to our new ski and snowboard tuning room. The purpose of this room is to provide an, uh, an area for our members to be able to tune their skis and snowboard, and there's many safety features and ways to use the room that we want to introduce to you today. This room has been designed with four tuning stations. Two of the tuning stations are underneath the vent hood so that the fumes can escape as well as two other stations for tuning and scraping your skis. This room has a space for six people, which allows for a coach or a parent to supervise or assist with the tuning of the skis. Our tuning room is equipped with state-of-the-art vices and grips to allow us to tune any size of snowboard or ski. One of the other features that we put into this tuning room was some safety features. The ventilation and the lighting system is turned on with a timer. This timer switch also controls the, all the outlets in the room, which is where you're going to be plugging your iron into. The reason for the timer is so that after a certain period of time, the, it will automatically shut off to reduce and minimize any risk. When the tuning room is in use, it's imperative that this door remain closed at all times. The reason for that is for the ventilation to work properly, there has to be a tight seal in the room. In the unlikely event that the room fills with smoke, turn on the uh, timer switch to 30, exit the room, close the door, and let somebody know. In the even more unlikely event that the room catches on fire, we've provided a fire extinguisher here for your use. Make sure you're familiar with how to use it. You basically pull the pin, squeeze the handle, point it right at the base of the fire. When we start to tune our skis, it's important that we have some proper safety gear. The first thing that we want to talk about is we want to have closed-toed shoes. No ski boots, no open-toed sandals, no bare feet. Now we're ready to wax our skis. The first thing that we have to do is turn the timer on. That gives us light, starts the ventilation, and puts power to the outlet where we plug in the iron. Grab the iron by the handle and notice that there's a temperature gauge on the iron. The reason we have a temperature gauge is because every wax has a temperature range at which it should be melted. The reason we want to melt it within the manufacturer's desired temperature is so that we don't create too many fumes and or smoke. Now it's time for us to scrape our skis. So once we are finished scraping our skis, it's important to remember that a clean workspace is a safe workspace. We don't want any wax on the ground because that becomes slippery. So we've provided you with these, a dustpan and a brush. We've got a hole at the end of the bench with a garbage receptacle underneath. You just sweep it right in there and the place is kept nice and tidy. Remember that many people want to use the tuning room. So when you're finished tuning your skis, make sure that you keep your area nice and tidy for the next person. The other aspect of the tuning room is that anybody over the age of 12 is allowed to use this room. Anybody under the age of 12 must be supervised by an adult. One other aspect that we thought of at the last minute, for safety purposes, is this. Smile! You're on candid camera! <laughs>